a drugs gang who funded their lavish lifestyles by flooding Manchester streets with Class A drugs and were jailed. The five were part of a multi-million pound operation which sold huge amounts of cocaine, MDMA, cannabis and ketamine over a four-year period. This sophisticated network, which was run by the brothers Mohammed and Ibrahim Sadi, distributed up to an estimated £10 million worth of illegal drugs before it was eventually brought down in December 2020. Manchester Crown Court yesterday, Mohamed Sadi who's 30, Ibrahim Sadi who's 22, Hamza Azuz who's 31 and Ilyas Abu Dabur who's 23 and Hamam Al Hamruni who's 24 were locked up for a combined total of more than 40 years for their role in the drugs ring. The prosecutor told the court that another alleged Cody named Zohir Nasarat is still on the run. The gang were rumbled following a crash on Wilmslow Road in Rushholm in Manchester on April 2017, the court heard. During the search of one of the vehicles involved, which was a Vauxhall Corsa, police discovered cannabis, white powder and two mobile phones used in the drug supply. One of the phones was attributed to Abu Dhabi, the runner, Within the operation, the other phone recovered showed Nazrat and Azuz were also involved in supplying drugs. In the June of the following year, police raided Ibrahim's home in Moss Side and found more than £4,000 in cash hidden on top of a wardrobe. His older brother Mohammed claimed the money was his. He was arrested and claimed he had borrowed the money from a friend to buy a car. Months later in December, police raided another property in Moss Side where Mohammed had been living with a man goes by the name of Shamsuddin Khalifa. Officers found £12,000 worth of drugs including cocaine, MDMA and cannabis as well as seven and a half grand in cash, multiple phones, a MacBook and drug paraphernalia. A number of items indicative of a lavish lifestyle were also recovered including designer clothing, a Rolex watch box and a personalised number plate which was attributed to Mohammed. Multiple burner phones were also recovered from the house which had messages consistent with customers ordering drugs and locations for the deals to take place. About a month later, police were involved in a high-speed chase with a stolen black Audi which reached around 90 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone and the Audi was later found abandoned in Salford. Cocaine, MDMA and cannabis and ketamine were found inside the car. The police dog was set to track the offenders and had tracked from the Audi's driver's door of the vehicle to Fenny Streets East, the prosecutor said. It was there the dog discovered a black delivery bag containing drugs, a plastic wallet containing the fingerprints of Ibrahim and drug paraphernalia. The total value of the drug seized was more than £43,000 and there was also blood staining belonging to Ibrahim. The court heard of another incident on September 3rd, 2019 in which Abu Dhabi had been in a stolen black Audi A3 in Rushholm when he was attacked and left with stab wounds. He ran from the Audi and was chased by officers and later found in nearby bushes in possession of drugs. Drug paraphernalia and a machete were also found in the Audi and the total value of the drugs recovered was just under three and a half grand. The following month, Abu Dhabi was found carrying drugs, cash and a loaded firearm after he'd been involved in a crash following a high-speed police chase in a stolen Audi. The gun had been wrapped in a towel while a further bullet was found in Abu Dhabi's pocket. An iPhone belonging to him was also recovered, which showed he was involved in drug dealing. From the period of January 2017 and October 2019, police have recovered a total of £38,000 in cash and approximately £57,000 worth of drugs from the group of linked individuals. Police carried out a number of strike days, which saw several homes raided in connection with the investigation. Al Humruni was arrested at a property in Ardwick where a number of phones linked to the supplier Class A drugs were also found. He told police he was a heavy cannabis user and began dealing drugs to pay off a drug debt. During a raid of Azuz's Moss Side home, a total of £5,000 in cash and a large quantity of empty, puffy, smelly proof bags were seized. A HMRC check showed all of the defendants had either no declared income or very small amounts. Ibrahim was interviewed and provided no comment. He was later caught trying to flee the country via Manchester airport and told officers he was on his way to visit family in Libya. The defence for Mohammed said his client was remorseful over his involvement in the drug ring. The representative 
for as you said, his client was not part of the larger conspiracy and that it was a classic case of street dealing. He added that he has a young family. The defence for Ibrahim said his client was just 16 when the conspiracy began and had shown a lack of maturity by becoming involved at the direction of his older brother. His defence said Ibrahim has since shown genuine remorse. He said, this is a man who has reflected on the impact it has had on his younger brother who is autistic. He still receives the support of his family. This has caused him deep shame and embarrassment. The defence for Abu Dhabi said his client had been given the gun after he was attacked. He said the defendant had spent more than three years in custody since his arrest in October 2019 and had used his time behind bars to complete a joinery course as well as working as a cleaner. The defence for Hamam al Hamaruni argued that while his client played a significant role in the drugs operation, he had only limited involvement over its four-year duration. So, Mohammed Sadi and Ibrahim Sadi from Moss Side were jailed for 11 years and 7 years respectively after pleading guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine, MDMA, cannabis and ketamine. As used of Cardiff was jailed for 6 years, he also admitted conspiracy to supplying cocaine, MDMA, cannabis and ketamine. Abu Dhabi of Fallowfield was jailed for 12 years. He pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine, MDMA, cannabis and ketamine as well as a string of other offences including possession of a loaded firearm. al Hamaruni of Ardwick pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine, cannabis and ketamine as well as two breaches of a suspended sentence and he was jailed for six years and four months. Sentencing the five men, the recorder Mark Ford described the operation as sophisticated and wide-ranging. He said although based in Manchester it's apparent that the reach of the conspiracy extends beyond this city. There's going to be a Proceeds of Crime Act hearing later on this year. Speaking after the hearing, Detective Sergeant Richard Bolt from the Greater Manchester Police's Serious Crime Division said, These sentences are a clear reflection on the impact that this group of individuals have caused on the public in Manchester. Drug dealing has consequences and affects those beyond the drug dealers and the drug users. The operation has seen not only drugs, cash, lethal firearms and weapons removed off the streets, but also the recovery of vehicles stolen from innocent members of the public as a result of their houses being burgled. These vehicles have then been used dangerously on the roads of Greater Manchester and ultimately involved in high-speed police pursuits risking the lives of people going about their normal day-to-day -day activities. These behaviours typifies the complete lack of regard to others these individuals have in their own pursuits of making money to fund their criminal lifestyles. The investigation has been complex and spanned a number of years, pulling together what may seem like isolated incidents in order to target those behind the street dealer. This is in order to prosecute the people higher up the chain who often go unseen or unpunished for their actions. The convictions and the sentences show that no matter where in the chain you are, you are not removed from the attention of the police. Detective Inspector Madeline Kelly from Manchester's Excalibur Task Force who led the investigation said these sentences are another excellent result of Great Manchester Police and a testament to the hard work carried out by all involved. Our top priority is keeping the public safe and we are committed to taking firearms, weapons and drugs off the streets of Greater Manchester. So guys, this is a new story coming in from the North West. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.